Hey, what's up, my friend? I only got eighteen percent of battery, and I going to try to share what happened yesterday at our book club meeting. We met around nine thirty-five. I mean, I got there around nine thirty, and people started arriving around nine forty, nine forty-five, and we practiced a meditation on the rooftop of a very lovely. Uh, house and architecture、uh, offered by our friend Tyler, and the weather was just so comfortable, breezy yet not cold. So we just sat on the rooftop on the patio and sat on the couch with cushions on it, which was just perfect. And for about fifteen minutes, I led everybody to practice. Meditation,、uh, more specifically, breathing exercises,、uh, counting breath, counting breath exercise. Just one breathing and one breath out. You count one, and then one breathing and one breath out. You breathe out. You count two, and continue until ten, and then you repeat from one again. So that's basically the exercise we did. It helped us to. Become conscious of our breath and our presence. It brought us back to this moment, and we started our book club meeting downstairs. But however,、uh, for some reasons, we didn't find the switch, and we wouldn't, we wasn't able to turn on the light. So we came back to the rooftop again. <laughs> yeah, and it turned out to be awesome, cause yeah. The weather again, just so comfortable for discussion, reading, sharing, talking, laughing. We had really an amazing time、uh, discussing this book, The Untethered Soul. Very light book. I mean, yeah, in some sense. In other sense, it's a actually could be a, it actually could be a very、um, intense and. Um, stressful book for some people who hadn't had any spiritual awakening experiences yet, and but for me, I just got empowered so much. Every time I read it, I I felt like I had gained the clarity again about life, about li- living a good life, li- living a peaceful life. Yeah, so we continued. Our discussion until eleven, and then we started reading books quietly on our own for about thirty minutes, and then we shared quotes and、um, our ideas, our opinions, our perspectives, our stories、uh, from reading that quotes. That session went really well. I personally shared a few quotes from chapter two, and. It's about the problems we have. We seem to have those problems, but we never realize. No, most of us didn't realize that the problem only exists in your mind. The problem is not the problem itself. The problem is having a problem. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, the first session I forgot to mention.、Uh, one activity we did, one discussion we did was、uh, defining. Key terms from the books, and、uh, we only covered,、uh, I think, three or four words and terms, and one of them was uh, was um, problem. Yeah, as I mentioned, one of them was problem. One of them was stay open. One of them was the first one was heart. I, I just thought it's so interesting and necessary to. Clearly, talk about these words, definition. What do you understand? What do you mean by heart? What do you mean by problem? If you say the same words with different meanings, totally different understanding, then how can we communicate effectively? And yeah, I think it's just more than necessary to take lots of time to examine that first and. Have everybody on the same page, if we could, ever. But yesterday, from my experience, I realized、um, 
Yeah, different people have different experience in life, different understandings about these words, terms, because they're not our mother language. That's another important reason. If we speak Chinese, all then it probably be a different story. But anyway, I think one another important thing is、um, we all had to read books, and four people showed up yesterday without reading. I mean, actually five,、uh, actually six. I mean, one person came last, but she didn't really participate much in the first half, and so it was okay. And I mean, just like people must read books before they come to discussion. Otherwise, the discussion would be just、um, very difficult. Yeah, if you didn't really read the books, then you are only bring your personal opinion, personal understandings about this, which could be helpful, which could be interesting to compare with our understandings after we read the book. Yeah. For so many years, we didn't really question our definitions of certain words, although they seem to be just plain and daily and often used words, such as love. What is love to you? What is love? What does that word mean to you? How do you understand it? What does love refer to in your understanding? Yeah, many many words, so many. If you say that. If you express certain things, right? If people didn't really know your understanding and definition of these words, then how could they understand you? They understand you with their ways of definition. Then you guys are not communicating. You guys are not really on the same page. Even they agree with you. Even they think, oh, you said you made some points. Then you didn't. Because you didn't really understand each other well, so yeah, it's going to take a lot of time and work, and sometimes it it really、um, brought up much discomfort when we had some disagreement and realized we had so much difference in our understandings, and you feel even frustrated. Like、how could this person not even understand this level, this、um, simple term, as the way it appeared to be? You know, but yeah, everybody got different words. You know, based on their personal experiences, might be easier for you to understand it. But yeah, some people probably never experienced it from that angle. I mean, yeah. So anyway, the book club meeting was a very successful activity we had last day, and、uh, we took lots of pictures. I shared them with、uh, people in the group chat after I came back last night, and then in the afternoon around three, we had our outdoor activity, outdoor event, which lasted more than two and a half hours, almost three hours. Actually, yeah, three hours. It was really fun. We had、uh, played some sports. We had、uh, set up the tent, which took us so much effort, and we ended up not using it at all. Nobody was. I mean,、uh, just a few, one or two people were under that because the weather was just so chill. It actually the sun came out, but it didn't hurt. It didn't burn. We were all very comfortable. We enjoyed the sun. And we sat on the grass. And we played so many games, and we introduced ourselves.、Uh, some people danced, some people sang, and we played volleyball,、um, frisbee, and I even wrestled with another friend,、uh, a new friend, who's from Morocco. And it was actually really fun. But my hair was so long, and yeah, it just got in my way.、Um, Yeah, I just really enjoyed trying different things, but I wouldn't participate or involve myself in anything physical, physically violent. It didn't feel the right thing for me. I mean, yeah, it's fun. Part of me really enjoyed it. You know, that aggressive part. <laughs>
competitive part of me, but um, I wanted to be more chill. I wanted to be just peaceful. I wanted to relax and talk. You know, we don't have to be physical. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate everybody. I felt just so happy and present with everybody. Yeah, it's a great day. I am going to check my phone in a minute and see the pictures from yesterday. Okay, my camera is running out of battery. Perfect. Thank you for watching and listening to this. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.